Hi, I'm Paulie the PSM, and you're watching iDrum Magazine. Boom! Welcome to iDrum and here we are today in our brand spanking new studio and what a pleasure it is to be here but a bigger pleasure than that is that with me is Mr Paul Stanley McKenzie also known as Paulie to his friends or the PSM. Now I had the pleasure of first meeting or actually seeing Paul play way back in 2005 when he was the winner of the MikeDolbeer.com Young Drummer of the Year award and uh, let me tell you that's a pretty prestigious award to win um, it's highly competitive and uh, much sought after. Anyway, welcome, Mr. Paul Stanley McKenzie, Paulie. Thank you. The very PSM. Much. Thanks for coming in with us. <laughs> Thank you for having me. You're very, very welcome. Apart from this interview, there's some absolutely stunning playing that Paul has been doing for us today, and you'll get to witness all of that in its entirety at the end of this feature. But don't skip to the forward bit, not just yet, anyway. So, Paul, since 2005, when you were a young 16 year old little whippersnapper <laughs> and you won that, what was it like to win that? It was incredible. I mean, at the time, I'd never really played in front of an audience. Um, I'd only been playing drums for two or three years. I'd only had a drum kit for probably a year. Right. Um, so it was a, a crazy experience playing drums that actually didn't fall over when you hit them. <laughs> Having like Yard, you know, Yard, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the legendary Yard teching for you. It's like this guy works with Steve Gadd and now he's running around me, right. old me, you know, so. It was an amazing experience. I met some incredible people, Vic Firth. Um, I don't even remember everyone who, who judged my year, but um, it was insane. 2005 was the year I won it. 2004, I entered, but didn't, uh, didn't quite get there. No, know? okay. Well, hey, all good things come to those that wait, as they say. This is what they say, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so that was obviously, that, that really put you kind of on the map because I think sort of after that also, you went out and you did some clinic tours with Thomas Lang right. and, and Horacio Hernandez, El Negro. Exactly. So you did, I mean, again, what was that like for a 16-year-old young lad? Incredible. Opening up for Thomas Lang and well, El Negro. The, the amazing thing was those guys aren't like typical sort of, uh, I don't know, they're, they're kind of beyond music and they're, they're icons in what they do as drummers. Right. So it, it showed me that you can take the whole drum thing to another level, to a different, to another stratosphere. You know, it was, it was out of this world seeing those guys and seeing people come to see them play as well. Right. You think, you think people are only going to come and see you if you're playing with a band, but these guys are doing solo stuff. And right. People are, but I mean, but, but also it must have been an interesting thing just to sort of get to hang with them for, you know, the four or five days or whatever yeah. that you were there and just to see how they behave as, as people. Yeah. I mean, because I mean, you know, especially Thomas and, and certainly El Negro, I mean, they have a very professional outlook almost at all times. I mean, exactly. you know, I'm not suggesting it's a, it's a false outlook, but, but it's just the way they conduct themselves most is definitely. always very kind of professional and business-like. So most definitely. actually I was gonna just wanna track back a minute, um, just getting back to the, um, the, 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 your performance at Young Drummer of the Year. Mm. Um, what I wanted, what for me was so special about it was the fact that it was a performance. Mm. And you'd thought not only about what you were gonna play on the drum set, but you were gonna, you, you'd also thought about how you were gonna present it. Yeah. And I remember going to Young Drummer of the Year Awards several years afterwards, yeah. and I noticed that the influence that you had had with your winning performance, mm. how a lot of the other contestants also tried to bring that to their performance too. So yeah. clearly, already you'd had some, you'd made an impact on, on the younger players that, that were coming through. I think it's just really important to have you know, the whole performance element in everything you do. Right. There's no point just turning up and, you know, bashing away. Anyone can bash away and anyone can be technically great. Right. But can you perform? Can you get the crowd on your side? Right. If you, if you can do that, then you've won. Yeah, you know, yeah. Think, okay. Well, uh, you did. Yeah. <laughs>